hi waffles <laughs> welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be giving you a little tutorial on how to make chocolate buttercream guys there's a lot to do with chocolate buttercream so you definitely need to learn this as a beginner so let's get right into the video together and subscribe to my channel if you haven't we have we're going to be using the powdered sugar we have milk we have cocoa powder and lastly the butter so just go ahead and stir this into a standing mixer so guys i'm going to put the detailed measurements of all of this in the description box so make sure to check there to be sure why using this so i like to use my regular butter and shortening together just to um give it a little bit of smoothness so i'm just going to remove the edges clean the edges mix again i like to mix my butter for a while before adding my powder sugar that's what i did i mix my butter for like five minutes before adding the powdered sugar in three parts so we're going to put it step by step and allow the powdered sugar to incorporate into the butter before going ahead to add another powdered sugar that's basically what i'm doing so we're going to mix at low speed at first to incorporate then at high speed so i'm just kind of you know like fast forwarding the video a little bit obviously then now i've added the cocoa powder now this, this is how it works like the video i showed you before i went into the detailed tutorial i had different colors like different textures of the chocolate buttercream so we have the lighter chocolate buttercream we have the deeper chocolate buttercream it just depends on what you want to do so that determines the, the amount of cocoa powder you'll be using so guys take note of that there are different different shades of chocolate buttercream so the shades they are doing determine the amount of icing sugar to add or the amount of cocoa powder to add if you understand what i'm saying so i want a really dark shade for this tutorial that's why i'm making this this amount of cocoa powder I'm going to put everything and explain everything in the description box for those of you that don't understand how to use your measurements while working with the particular color of or shade of chocolate buttercream you want to use. So I'm going to add the rest of the icing sugar and keep on mixing a standing mixer. You can do this with your hand mixer, don't necessarily need to use a standing mixer. And we're going to add about three tablespoons of milk. This is just to allow our butter and our powdered sugar, everything to just incorporate properly. So that's what basically what we're doing. So it depends on the consistency you want. I tell people most of this in all of my tutorial. So if you're just joining this place for the first time and you've not subscribed, please do and check my previous video for some of this some of this tutorial is that there these are tips that you need to know as a beginner so now the texture of buttercream you need really matter that's something the amount of liquid you're going to add to it now if you want to use it for a cupcake i want you to cover a cake there are different textures of buttercream that you may need in and you know the texture that will work better for you or if you want to use the pipe on top of a cake so just go ahead and add liquid according to what you wanted to do like that's how it works so just if you there sometimes that you just need to add so much um more butter and just less liquid just depends on what work for you you could use a regular um buttercream recipe just add cocoa powder to it that's that's basically the same thing so just add cocoa powder to it and that's just how it works so we are done with this and look at look at look at the texture it just came out so smooth and lovely and this is ready to cover any cake like the color of the chocolate is so beautiful waffles make sure to turn on the notification bell so you get notified as soon as i post a new video which i post every week give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't i love you guys so much now before you go i want to show you give you guys some tips on how to work with chocolate butter cream there is basically a lot to do with chocolate buttercream. There's basically a lot. I like your waffles to really be creative and explore while working on a cake. Don't be so stereotype. That's it. So I'm going to give you some tips before we go. So I've worked with this chocolate buttercream in lots of cakes. I just put in some pictures to give you guys an idea. This is the different shade of buttercream. Like the one we did in this video is kind of darker, and that's exactly the one I used for this cake even though this, this is not a tutorial for this one i have a tutorial of this cake if you want to know how to do this i use it for this kind of shade too on another design there are lots of the things to do with it so guys explore and get back to me in the comment section now. waffles and don't forget to send pictures if possible to my instagram handle and that is basically it guys subscribe if you haven't i'll see you on my next video thanks for watching bye